All righty, time for another edition of Science Sunday here with Eva Ryle at the Connecticut Science Center in downtown Hartford. Good morning. Good morning. So uh, what do you have for us today? All right, I'm going to show you a really cool way that you can pop a balloon without actually popping a balloon. Okay. Yeah, it'll make a little more sense. Or <laughs> deflating a balloon? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I have two balloons, one for you, one for me, if you want to blow that up. Okay. Like all the way? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so we have our balloon. Now we could, if we wanted to deflate it, we could untie this. I'm really terrible at that though. Oh no, you can never untie a balloon. Yeah, right? Yeah. So what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna take our hand. We're gonna step on it? Oh, you could do that, but it was gonna pop, right? Oh, right, right. You make that so huge noise. Try not to make the noise. Yeah, we're okay. gonna try to deflate them without making that popping noise, because you know a lot of people don't like that. So we're gonna take scotch tape, and we're actually gonna, let's see if I can do this so you can see. Now, if, if people are gonna try this at home, because mm -hmm. they certainly can, does the type of tape matter? Uh, I found scotch tape works really well, but definitely something to try to experiment with. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to take that tape and make an X on your balloon so that it crosses over and you have a spot where the tape is doubled up. Okay. Yeah, just like that. Um, but yeah, you could try different tapes. I found scotch tape works the best, but um, all we're really using the tape for is to hold the balloon together. Okay. So. And then I'm going to give you oh. a needle of science. <laughs> And you know, as we know, if you were to poke that needle through a balloon, typically, it's gonna, it's gonna pop. Right? I see, I see you. <laughs> but what I'm gonna have you try this time? I'm gonna ignore that one. <laughs> we're gonna poke it right through where the tape uh, doubles up. Okay, so me first or you first? You first? Okay. Yeah. There we go. So that needle is now inside my balloon. And Not typically, popping. if you hit anywhere else on that balloon in the yeah. bag, you would poof. I can even pull it out. There's still that hole. It's still, see if you can hear it on the mic. It's still deflating. That air's coming out. But the Slow tape, hiss. Yeah, the tape is holding that balloon together so it can't rip out any further and pop. Okay. You want to try yours? Yeah. So just kind of where it's layered. Yep. There you go. All right. And there it goes. Isn't that cool? So I can feel mine actually deflating. It's getting smaller. As it goes, it's going to take a long time, whoop, until I squeeze it too hard. <laughs> oh. But um, it's still kind of muted. Yeah. It wasn't as loud <laughs> as it would have been. Yeah, it'd be a good way to, um, to deflate a balloon without actually making that, you know. So if you have a, a party and have 200 balloons, this would take hours to, if you want this method. Yeah. Yeah, it would take a little while. It's not the most efficient. <laughs> not the most efficient method, um, but kind of cool example of how balloons pop and how, you know, to not make them pop. And this oddly, oh, here it goes faster. There you go, yeah. <laughs> startled me. Um, this uh, plays into uh, an event happening next weekend here at the Science Center. Yeah, so we have another one of our sensory friendly days. We do a couple throughout the year. Um, you know, they're great days for anyone with um, some sensory issues. We turn off a lot of our really kind of loud or overwhelming exhibits, turn down the lights, um, and then we have spaces and kits as well for anyone who might need them. All right, so a week from today, next Sunday. Yes. All right, good stuff. Aoife, thank you so much. And of course, we'll see you for another edition of Science Sunday next weekend.